Uh, Einstein's gravitational waves detected in scientific milestone. Um, what what is this? What has led up to this? And how was it finally uh, discovered? This was just announced hours ago. Yeah. So you don't miss anything here. Look at you. No, I saw that it popped up as an alert on my phone. Yeah, I was as like, it should. Oh, okay. This That's is a hundred years in the in the making here. Oh. Einstein, a hundred years ago, uh, oh, ninety eight years ago, I think it was, gave a recipe for a prediction of how gravity, how you might be able to detect the kind of gravity that he described mm -hmm. in his famous 1916 paper. To him, gravity was not a force of attraction between objects as Newton would have you think of it. Gravity is the distortion in the fabric of space and time. Uh. And if I have a massive object, I'm distorting it deeply, and some other object comes in the vicinity, it kind of falls into that distortion. Right. So you're really just staying with the flow. And I think it was, uh, one of Einstein's disciples who came up with the phrase, mass tells space how to curve. I, I gotta say this right. No, it's, it's very <laughs> pithy, excuse me. Um, <laughs> Don't worry, I, you got me. No, no. Matter, tells, <laughs> here. matter tells space how to curve. Space tells matter how to move. Oh, okay. There you go. And so now, if you have a disturbance in this fabric of space and time, it will emanate forth as a ripple moving at the speed of light. And that ripple that was discovered and, and announced today has been traveling through the fabric of space and time for 1.3 billion years. And it is the record of the collapse of a double black hole system coalescing into one black hole. And that is a major disturbance in the fabric of so space. So in order for that to be detected, it would have had to have been this giant, like obviously anything probably throws off gravitational waves. Yes, anything. Then to make it correct to reach here. It's gotta be big enough and bright. Right, right, right. Bright enough, if I can use like that a word. tsunami of gravity. Correct, and so black hole, badass black holes coalescing is what did it. And in fact, in the last instant before these black holes coalesce, it is radiating so much energy, it is more energy than all the stars of the universe combined, oh but it only does it for a quick fraction of a second it's enough before to... they coalesce, but it's enough to give good. that little jiggle, wait a billion point three years, and, and it came across the detectors changing the length between two mirrors that are suspended on very thin wires in multiple observing locations in the world. And by the way, you know how much the length changed as the ripple went across? A fraction the diameter of an atomic nucleus. It is the most, it is the most precise measurement ever made by far. That's detectable. Of anything, yes. With a mechanical yes. 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 setup. Yes, and in fact, they the no. insulation of this I, I visited. I will leave. I guess I don't leave them out like wind chimes. I know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> so I I visited one of these facilities just a month ago in Louisiana. There, there's one there. There's one in Hanford, uh, Washington State, and they're building others around the world. So that you don't want to detect it only in one. You want to make sure multiple ones right. detect it. Just in, no, there's no funny business, or there's you can have confidence. If you have the exact signal in more than one detector right. that it's real. All right. So so I'm there, and you you come up, you drive up to the facility, says. Uh, beam on, drive slowly, <laughs> or something. They don't, yeah, any vibration will affect this thing. A vibrations on a level that is so so sensitive, you say it can detect the quantum vibrations of molecules in the wire that's holding the, oh the mirror. God. Oh my How God. is that accounted for? Well, so now they got to account for I mean, it's a very What about seismic stuff that's unpredictable? Well, so yeah, it's one of the world's greatest seismic detectors. I well. bet. <laughs> so no, there are, ways to, there are ways to insulate it from whatever's going on. In, around, in, so it's it's a masterpiece of engineering. Amazing, yeah. Yeah, and it'll Nobel Prize is all around for everybody, yeah. I, I gather, so wh what is, now what does this mean? We always hear how important these discoveries are. Uh, what what will this teach us? Well, it is, <laughs> uh, it is. I don't know that there's anything left that Einstein predicted that we can still end up finding out is true. Everything has been correct. And in fact, let me tell you how Amazing. smart Einstein was. Uh, in one of his equations, he put in a term that he later regretted putting in, and he called it his greatest blunder. <laughs> this is a term that he looked at his equations, and his equations showed that the universe had to be either expanding or collapsing. Right. Now, 
no one had any idea that the universe, which is everything, would be doing anything. Yeah, it's just there. It's just there, right? right? So he says, this can't be right. Let me put in this term. It's a legitimate mathematical term, but physically, what the hell are you doing, Albert? And he says, this term will help stabilize it from collapse, okay? And it's a pressure force to push outward, and that'll stabilize it. Later on, year, just a couple of years later, Hubble... The man, yeah. after whom the telescope was the named, telescope the man. <laughs> discovered that, in fact, the universe was expanding, and he didn't need the term. Because he could have predicted that the universe should either be expanding or expanding, but he didn't. He put in this term. He said it's his biggest blunder. Now, you know what Einstein's actual biggest blunder is? Saying that that was his biggest uh, blunder. Yeah. <laughs> because, in fact, in 1998, we discovered a pressure in the universe pressing against gravity that is exactly the term that he put in it wound up being what he said his not, biggest not a blunder, at all. blunder is thinking he made a blunder uh-huh that's how smart he how, is. Wh that, that's badass smart 